um, you know, I've, I've known you a long time. And so I'm kind of an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. yeah and, yeah. um, you know, I like doing other projects and I, and I like it's kind money. of hard to be, yeah, it's kind of hard <laughs> to be an entrepreneur as a civil servant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not, sure. I mean, you're not in poverty, you, you know, yeah, actually yeah, it's, yeah. it's good money, but at the same time, you know, um, you can do good for people and, uh, make your money that way. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And, um, of course. I had, I spoke at a law school recently and I explained to some of them, you know, don't get the concept wrong. A lot of you came here thinking, I want to make money, so I'm going to go to law school and, you know, that will make me money. I'm like, yeah. that's not what makes you money. So you try to help as many people as you can and all that good will come back to you, yeah. you know? And so I told them, you know, the, the money doesn't make you successful. Mm -hmm. The success makes you money, you mm -hmm. know? So just get it right. Stay, stay in your lane. Do what yeah. you're supposed to do. You know, read these books and graduate. And you know why I told them that? Because, you know, and this kind of made me think of it. It's one of your questions. In law school, I came in with the approach of just getting by. Mm. I, I came through the door with the impression that, you know what, I'm going to shoot for a C in every class and I'll pass and I'll take the bar and <laughs> success, you know? Yeah, success. And so, Step one. <laughs> right, you know? So I had a professor who told me one day <clears throat> in my first year of law school, She's like, you know what, you do pretty good at this, and you don't even really try, <laughs> you know. And she goes, yeah. imagine if how you, you would do if you tried, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I went from coming in with an attitude that I was going to get C's to the point where my grades were very good. So they ended up giving me in-state tuition when I was oh. I came from out of state. Cool. You know, that was a, a good motivator and good incentivizer. Mm -hmm. And so. And then I uh, got a scholarship. So it's, it's you know, you work hard, you, you'll get good things, you know. Yeah, give yeah. value to give value. That's right. As, That's as right. they say. That's what they say. Man. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I you got it down. So so I know you've seen a lot of uh, two, two, two different sides, way different sides, right, on, on uh, being a judge and then being a defense attorney. What would you say uh, was the the biggest, like, difference? Like, or what was the thing you're like, wow, it's it's – I thought – Okay, you're like you're thinking something of the judge essentially. They, you're thinking a certain way they think, and then you get to sit in that seat, and you're like, you know what, this is way different than I thought it was going to be. What was a real big surprise when you were <clears throat> a, either a defense attorney mm -hmm. or a prosecutor? You're so focused on what you're trying to achieve mm -hmm. that most of the time you don't try to anticipate what the other person is probably thinking. Mm. You know, and I always tried to think that way when it came to uh, interacting with judges. Mm -hmm. And it actually came in handy then, but it comes in handy now because I I know what the defense wants and what he or she is thinking, and I know what the state wants and what they're thinking. Yeah. And I kind of work out good compromises, mm -hmm. you know. Um, just um, in your decision making, it, if you can do that, I, I fortunately always have, you know. It was mm -hmm. a, a good thing to have done. I never thought I would be a judge. I never really had that as a goal. Mm -hmm. And um, I decided to run because a friend of mine asked me to run, and he was running. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, well, sure. Let me go ahead and you know, <laughs> I'll sign up for this. You know. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, we have almost five million people in Harris County. We're the yeah. third biggest county in the country, and. Um, I won. And um, so how did you uh, raise awareness for that? Because you, you said you came into it and you're like, yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, there had to be a certain point where you're like, you know what? I think I could be a really good judge here. When when did that change? And, and how did you get ample awareness out in, in you know, the Houston area to get you elected? Typically, people are just so focused, one, on winning an election that they really don't think too much about what's going to happen when they get there, mm -hmm. you know? And so once I won the election and went through ceremonies and, mm -hmm. and judge school and all these different things, I thought, you know, this is a pretty important position here. I better, better snap to it, you know? <laughs> so, so, so I really, focusing uh, on winning. Yeah. So yeah. You had that you know? competitor heart. Yeah, exactly. So, so I was so like, how, man. How did you win, though? That's what I really wanted to... Social media. I'm a big okay. social media guy. I know. I see this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I uh, I have 
what is it, Instagram, Facebook. I think mm -hmm. I have like two or three Facebooks because they limit you to 5,000 and then yeah. you got to move on. You I'm know. a little curious about that when I saw two Georges pop up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got you to gotta start a new page and, you know. Yeah. So that part of it, I wish Facebook would allow more people on, on one account. But yeah. And uh, LinkedIn, I use uh, Twitter. Yeah, you know, I use all those. So you just kind of got the word out that paid for ads too, or just general? I didn't really do any paid ads, but I had a big um, practice. I had practiced 15 years before I ran. Uh, so uh, the big practice that you had allowed you to kind of get your name out there for the for the, for the most part. That's right. Um, That's right. And so the person that you're going against, though, uh, were they pretty entrenched, or or was it, it seem it seems like uh, you had a big following? So you came in with a uh, a hammer, not Texas hammer, but a hammer, <laughs> <laughs> a hammer into the situations. Um, was it steep competition or what? You know, the the judge I was running against had been undefeated for twenty years. Oh wow, he'd been here a long time, and you're like challenge accepted, right? <laughs> yeah, and you know what? How you know how I ended up running for this court? I um, looked at who was running, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to run against anybody that I knew or who was a friend of mine. So. Oh. I, I, nobody wanted to run against him because he had won repeatedly and over and over mm -hmm. and over. So it was really the only one I didn't know somebody was running for. So yeah, I took yeah, it. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it worked out. It That's worked cool. Out. That's cool. Yeah. But the, uh, you know, having practiced for all those years and, um, you know, having a pretty good connection to the community, I was mm -hmm. always trying to help, you know, do something. Yeah. And yeah. so that, that helps you. And the church is true, helped true, a lot. true civil servant. Yeah, yeah, you know, you want to be, you know, you, you might be entrepreneurial, but you still got to help other people. Right. What else are we here for, right? Yeah, of so. course, of course.